Today was a huge feature launch for Airtable. Three massive new upgrades for the platform shipped today. So if you're interested in learning exactly what those are, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, I'm Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we use Airtable to do that, definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out our website as well. We do offer a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in the software. But without further ado, let's address the massive feature uploads that Airtable just pushed out today. Now, just popping into my screen, you can go to the Airtable blog here and find their most recent blog as of today. And you can see it's written by their CEO and they are he is addressing the fact that 500 million apps are projected to be built in the next few years. By 2023, this is the projection that, uh, that uh, Howie is, is referencing here. Half a billion apps. But the power that Airtable really wants to tap into is that they want to put that power in our hands as Airtable developers, as Airtable users. So getting away from the necessity of code and starting to leverage powerful tools like Airtable, which can be the building blocks for this. So this is the first big feature push that Airtable pushed out today. It is the launch of what they're now calling apps. So let's hop into Airtable and take a look at what this new setup looks like. In the upper right corner of my screen, you see that I have a new little icon or logo here and it's, it's reading the word apps. Previously, these were called blocks in Airtable and they were pretty common types of things, different ways that we could analyze data like charts and graphs and Gantt charts and you know PDF, um, page designer views. So fairly common things that we all you know really need but nothing very specific to you know, particular workflows or processes inside of businesses. And this, in my opinion, is what makes apps so darned powerful. So if you click on apps now, you'll notice that you have the ability to install an app just like you could install a block before, very similar, and we still have access to all those old blocks, right? So the chart that I was referencing, uh, you know, you've, if you had a pivot table or an import block, things like that. These things that Airtable built are still available to us, but the big thing that you'll notice is that we also have the ability to build a custom app. And this is where we can go in and write our own JavaScript. If you're not you know, a, a huge JavaScript user, that's okay. You can piece together some apps that have been written already and made available. And the really cool thing here is that Airtable has launched what they're calling their new marketplace. So the marketplace is where everybody can put their own apps in and, and you know, share those apps with the community. So if there's a problem that you're looking for, there's a good chance that maybe someone else has already built it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Airtable's you know, team themselves that built this thing. Because of the open community, you can now jump into marketplace and get access to apps that other people have written. So very, very cool use case. And it's basically a big call to action from Airtable saying, hey, anybody who's building in our software, let's build more together. So this was a massive, massive update. Now that takes us to update number two. It's the official announcement of Airtable's automations. And we've been talking about Airtable automations for a couple of weeks now on our channel. The Airtable automations kind of shipped a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago somewhere around there, uh, and they've been live for quite a while now. That being said, the upgrades that are being made to automations are so fast that I, it's making my head spin. In fact, just last week I was using automations and I only had the ability to use two different triggers inside of automations. I had the ability to use a trigger when a record uh, is created or when a record enters a view. So those two triggers were available to us just last week. And you can see on my screen here that there are now four triggers. We got two new triggers, the ability to trigger an automation from when a record matches specific conditions or when a record is updated. So I'm already looking forward to jumping into these more and experimenting more and more. And as I said, Airtable is just investing a ton of resources into 
improving their automations. So it's super cool that we can be automating directly from inside of our database. Now on the other side of this, uh, you know, once we've cho chosen a trigger, the other side are the action steps. And so if you're to look at your actions, you might even see that you have some new actions now that you didn't have just a couple of days ago. So definitely explore that. Again, this just is uh, adding more evidence to the fact that Airtable is just supporting their automations with so many resources right now. It's a very exciting time to see all these new things being released. That takes us to the third feature upgrade, and this is perhaps the biggest one. It's called Airtable Sync. And from what I'm reading on this blog, it sounds like we are now able to connect or sync tables from different databases. Yes, yes, I said it. I know that this is something that the Airtable community has been asking for for quite some time. And in you know full transparency, I started to think that maybe we were never gonna get this feature. Uh, but here it is. We can now sync our tables across different databases. So I can't even wrap my head around yet all of the different upgrades uh, that this is going to mean for us in our work and in the way that we work within the tool. It's so mind boggling the new things that have been unlocked for us with these three new features. Definitely let me know in the comments below how you intend to utilize these new features. And in the meantime, I'm going to be working on building a lot of fun stuff with them in the next few weeks. And I'll be putting out even more videos just so that we can all see how these new features play in action. So if that's of interest, be sure that you are subscribed to this channel and we'll catch up with you soon. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by and I look forward to connecting with you soon.